Hey, aloha guys, this is Seki Niemi Comics. Uh, don't mind my, my voice, man. It's just been a long, long day for me. Um, uh, today I'm doing a comic book haul. Um, I'm gonna show you some, uh, new comic book, um, that has released this past Wednesday and some few, um, books that I have ordered months ago just finally came in and I got some very cool uh, variant books that I like to show you which I picked up and towards the end I'm gonna show you my key book um, that I picked up all right let me start off with um, with Exo Manowar that this has released this week and if you're not too familiar with Exo Manowar there is a sneak preview and this is it right here i should just recommend and go see it and it kind of gives you a nice content of um, you know of the characters and what the story is all about it's a phenomenal story guys matt ken is behind this and there's many many variants so uh it's it's huge guys it's huge uh, if you're not into valiant i would highly recommend it the story is good and their whole universe is linked into one universe. Uh, so like Bloodshot, of course, Exo Man War, there's Interior War Warrior, uh, there's Ninja, it's just everything is just all bashed up into one. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend it. Kind of get a preview uh, before you, you know, purchasing something that is like four, four or five dollars, right? Um, also, this is something that uh, came out this week. It's Vampirella number one. It's got uh, cover done by G. Scott Campbell. As you already know, uh, you've probably seen it in everybody's uh, new comic book day haul. So I'm not going to uh, go too much into details. And also the same for uh, Batman Detective Comic 953. Um, phenomenal color cover. And also you picked up two cover of that. Um... As you know, this month of March happens to be uh, like a Venomized uh, cover. Uh, there's this week, just there's more Venomized cover than it that appealed to me. So I picked up uh, Spider Gwen number eighteen. I picked up another uh, Amazing Spider Man number twenty five, and also Amazing Spider Man Renew Your Vault number five. And one of my favorite for this week is Gamora number four. Um, like I said, this is all the new books that came out this week, so I'm really not going to go too much into it because I'm sure you've already seen it throughout Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and uh, today is Saturday, so yeah, that is it. And also, I picked up uh, X-Force uh, number 5. This is the bloody variant with uh, Archangel. I picked this up, uh, well, I picked it up online, and he said this was a near mint. I can tell you right now, there's about seven ticks on the spine out of the seven, four broke colors in the back. There's a huge crease. There's no way this is anything near mint. Uh, so I contacted the buyer and and just there was no absolutely no response to it. So I had eBay to take over and gave me a full refund and didn't have to return the book. So I got this for free. All right. But still not happy because I wanted to get that in a near mint. All right, um, as you already know, this is uh, the Clones Conspiracy Omega number one, uh, cover done by Adi Granoff. As you already know, he is heating up. And if you are a cover collector, I would recommend getting Adi Granoff cover. There's many out there that you still can get it at a dollar price. Um, and I'm sure this, hopefully this will not be a part of the <laughs> a dollar bin, but still, this is something I have pre-ordered months before, finally got in, because freaking sellers wants to send things media mail, which Hawaii, we're in the middle of a Pacific, media mail takes at least about three to four weeks to get here. So by the time everybody passed, moved on, I'm getting mine. And still, I'm very happy because of it is what it is. My favorite character, you know, the Doom 143 would say, Superhero in the Rain. And third is done by Audie Granoff. So pretty much, and it's also number one. Can't complain. Uh, also something I picked up was All New Wolverine. 
number 16. Uh, I've, I've seen everybody show this. I, I kind of missed the boat on it. And uh, I finally were able to find a near mint copy on a back issue. So picked that up for $2. Um, so that's it. Yeah, it's funny because I am starting to realign my uh, collection and selling a lot of my back issues. And here I am buying another $2. But I think this is a good $2. I'm very happy uh, to have purchased because I think this is something that you can sit on and um, and appreciate the uh, the art uh, with that Weapon X you know cover um, of all new Wolverine and X23. All right, um, the rest of the book that I'm going to be showing you is uh, oh before I move on, uh, this is another book that I have ordered. Um, by LCS was able to get three copies of Southern Nightgown uh, number one. Uh, this is a wraparound cover, guys. Uh, this is not a connecting cover. I just had to, you know, just put one in the back so that you can you can you get to see the back side of the book. And this is phenomenally done. Of course, the cover is done by J. Scott Campbell. Phenomenal. Uh, like I said, I got three copies of this. All right. All right, so what else we got here? Um, okay, so, oh, here we are. I should have been more prepared, but um, I was able to get this set of uh, five books for, I think $2 each, so two, about two, four, six, eight, yeah, $10. Uh, that was about three dollar three fifty shipping, I believe. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's been so long. Um, but yeah, I got the Vampirella Painkiller Jane with a red foil. Um, I got the Vampirella Painkiller with a silver foil. Also, same thing, Vampirella Painkiller in a in a red and also in a gold silver. And finally. Got that in an ash limited ash can uh, series, so two dollars per book. Can't complain. Very limited run, and uh, you know who can, who will complain about Vampirella, right? Right, Mister Rig. <laughs> Love Vampirella. All right, uh, this last books that I'm going to be showing you, um, it is something that I picked up, and this came in such immaculate condition definitely this is a 9-8 candidate guys and I will be submitting it so you heard me say it um, when it comes in you'll get to see what the grades gonna be um, but it is Grim Fairy issue number 75 this is a Kickstarter exclusive uh, from Zenoscope of course the cover is done by J Scott Campbell and uh, like I said man the corners are shop clean as a whistle, white backdrop, beautiful art done by J. Scott Campbell and is a Kickstarter kit exclusive by Zenoscope. So there's a very limited of this that were printed. And talking about limited, also got a Zenoscope Hell Child 2 out of 5 cover done by Green. This is limited to 500 print. This is also a very, very, very high grade uh, definitely it's a 9.6 and uh, hoping to maybe get a 9.8 yep so these three books definitely I'm going to be submitting to CGC and uh, hopefully by mid this year maybe in May June hopefully that grade will come and we can all fall back to this video when I tell you guys that these three books will be 9.8 9.6 all right, talking about 9.8, 9.6, this is something is definitely not anything near 9.6, 9.8. This is a Super Sun number one. This is the new stand edition price variant of $3.99, which I was happily to have picked up at Barnes & Noble. It was sitting there. I don't know how um, it got there. I'm not going to complain. I walked past uh, Barnes & Noble's day in day out every day that I go to work and I check their comment section on their new releases and this is something that I thought that I missed the boat on 
uh, but I was finally, finally have found a copy in a very fine condition. Of course, there is some, <laughs> not some, there is some serious spine issues here, but hopefully we can get that, uh, get that press and kind of revive this comic book back to near mint. Mine is probably in a 9092, guys, because there is a common a color, uh, Color break spine tape, but this is definitely not something I want to. Uh, nothing about slabbing, but just happy to have it in my collection. And also, finally, I told you about media mail. It takes about a month. Uh, I have ordered this about oh Jesus about two months ago. Pre-ordered, finally got in. Ordered two copy. One is on the way as a part of active, uh, random act of kindness. Uh, hopefully that he has gotten that package today. And uh, and you guys all get to find out who I send that to at the same time. This is uh, Super Sun number one, a limited print of uh, Francisco Martina. Beautifully done. Very happy to have that in my collection. And definitely in the future run, I'm thinking about getting that also being slabbed by CGC. And this is a candidate for 9.6, guys. All right, so also... Man, I was very super happy to get this Gen 13 number one baby doll uh, cover. Uh, some people will call it the uh, the Victoria's Secret homage, uh, catalog homage, but they call it this, the, uh, the baby doll. And very happy to get this. Uh, there was a seller that was actually had that. And this cover is also the Gen 13 number one. This is the... Uh, I think this is the Rolling Stone cover swipe of Janet Jackson. Um, beautifully done. And uh, got this for, oh my God, you won't believe it, man. Uh, for $20, guys. Uh, so, you know, the thing about this is it's, it's so detailed, lifelike. If you look into that, the detail this artist had put onto that melons, man. Oh my God, just take it in, take it in, take it in. Okay, so as you can see why I'm so in love with this cover and why that cover is also a gem because one is not just that it has a fabulous, a phenomenal cover. It is a very low print. At the same time, this book came in in such a mint collection condition that this will also will be getting a slab job by CGC. So like I said, this is a 9-6 candidate. Hopefully we can get some uh, some few nicks in and out. And uh, yeah, hopefully that it will come in as 9.8 guys. All right, um, this last book I'm gonna be showing you, uh, excuse me, Miss, uh, yeah. But this right here, man. It is Marvel Superhero Volume 2 9.8. You won't believe the grade because, like I said, it's a 9.6. First appearance of Squirrel Girl. Super happy to add this into my collection. This is one of the key issues that I really wanted to get for a very long time. Been on a lookout. Um, I should have pulled the trigger earlier, but um, the way that this character is growing within the Marvel Universe and also with the public. I had to get this before it's got bigger and for me to kind of, uh, how would you say, it? out of reach when it comes to this particular book. Um, I didn't want to take the chance of getting it raw and submitting to CGC, and but this way I got it as a 9.6. Um, and yes, if you don't know anything about Squirrel Girl, there is a huge following and when it comes to uh, cosplay and also she has defeated Thanos, uh, Doctor Doom, Galactus, Deadpool, Iron Man and there's so many other um, characters that she has defeated and she's very underrated, underappreciated I think to me and, uh, and here I am uh, very very happy to get this. Alright. Um, that's pretty much it guys um 
Uh, this is a very short haul compared to the other ones that I had. Thank you so much for sticking in, uh, sticking to the towards the end. Um, I probably will be uh, not being so active when it comes to comic book haul for another maybe two, three, maybe one month from now. I'm not giving up uh, YouTube, guys. I just need to regroup, rearrange, realign myself of the way that I collect. And you will see the huge differences uh, going forward. You'll see more heavy hitting, uh, hopefully heavy hitting uh, key issues, less of a new comic book, more on special variants and limited prints and going forward. So that will be the new direction that Seeking Near Mint comic is headed. And then uh, with that said, you know, uh, just stay tuned, guys. I'll make sure that you won't be disappointed. I'll be heavily also active, but I'll be just being gone for I would have a two week hyenas of, uh, be, you know, kind of uh, unplug myself and regroup and come back and stronger than ever. Um, so, yeah, don't worry, man. I'm not going nowhere. Just taking a two week vacation. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, two big vacation from YouTube. Um, with that said, man, um, thank you so much for your guys' support. And uh, there's so many contests out there, so please go and you know uh, sub these people. You know, one is Mr. Riga Morris eighty six with Davis Comic Finding. They're having a two hundred subscriber contest. There's Gizmo uh, Gizmo seventeen uh, having a one hundred uh, subscriber contest. There's SPT Killerwood. Um, that is going to be uh, cl coming to an end, I think, towards this weekend. Uh, his 100 subscriber, I think, Cubic Comic Attic. I think he probably will finish today, if not tomorrow. Uh, I could be, I could be a day late already, but he has a 100 subscriber content. That he's got freaking issues. Got a 100 subscriber content. Drew Manchu also having a 100 subscriber contest and you got Strange X Blade having a 50 subscribers contest. Um, who else is there? Uh, I think I pretty much covered it all guys from, from, from the people that I know. Um, so with that said man, uh, thank you very much. Aloha and mahalo and sayonara. Shoot.